I'm not sure if it started in 209, but a, a couple episodes before that, we start to see two with tremors. Her hands are shaking, and she's not quite herself with regards to her strength. Season one, she goes on the zombie ship, she gets bitten, and then miraculously she heals after blasting her out an airlock and presumably killing her, having her come back. And then we do essentially the reveal, and it turns out it's thanks to the nanites that are coursing through her system and help regenerate her injuries. You also have a network of corrector nanites moving throughout your body, even more advanced than my own. I thought it was kind of fitting that, you know, her Achilles heel, it turns out, are these nanites that are eventually powering down. The simple fact is my body was not designed to function without them. I think for a while she tries to hide that because she doesn't want to be weak. I think for the most part she's pretty confused about it, and if anything, she's in denial. She tries to push it away as much as possible until she's confronted by a situation where she's found out. I need help. She's this very strong, in control, independent kind of person. I mean, literally to a fault. Hates to have others be responsible for her and wants to take that responsibility for her own. It was neat to play the ability to, to say, no, you just sit there and let other folks save you. you know, it's okay to let others take care of you once in a while. She's vulnerable for about, I don't know, a quarter of the episode, and then she's like, screw this noise, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting the pill or whatever it is that she does with uh, the android in order to make her uh, almost invulnerable again. All I'm asking for is a temporary fix. Something that'll let me do more than just sit back on this ship while the others risk their lives for me. Rebecca. Two's meeting with Eric is interesting in that he offers a sympathetic glimpse into her past. Like up to this point, her connection to her past has been very kind of dark and, and kind of hostile in the form of the sort of rook and the, the scientists who who experimented with her, and then finally she meets a scientist who re-sympathized with her. As, as, as Eric is recounting that whole history that he had with Rebecca, I think uh, not only is she surprised to learn that she had a connection with someone, but the way he recounts it, it seems to be something that was quite meaningful. And ultimately, it's, it's, it's that sympathy that, you know, on his part, that makes him step up. And, and help her, and it essentially kind of leads to his demise, sadly. A single injection will deliver more than enough second generation nanites to do the job. Dark Matter's incubated in my head for seven years, and in that time, I fleshed out all the character arc. In the case of two, the feeling nanites were always in the works, and the fact that she would have to go back and face her former creators to sort of rectify the problem was, you know, very much the plan.